I thought this was originally a, a Rubegrund Mefleur type of bag, but in reality it's more of a Röt Gröt Meglede type of bag. Svenske Farm har ikke sans for music. Let's try that again. Welcome to the Bag Hag Digest. That's not true what I said about the Swedes. Love the Swedes. My dad's Norwegian though, he tends to take the piss. Hey, beautiful bag lovers, it's Trina here, today with a video about a bag which is more pragmatic in nature. Not exactly high fashion, uh, but very trendy and uh, very adorable and I love it. And it's this beautiful little number by Fjellreven Konken, which I believe is how you pronounce it in Swedish. A mountain or Arctic fox in English. And this is a very iconic bag in Europe and indeed also here in Japan, although um, another popular uh, backpack brand in Japan is a Japanese brand called Anello, which is also a really funky style brand of backpacks. But look at this little guy, it's so cute. So I unboxed her last night and uh, I went out for a little hike today and I I'm really happy I got it. Not only is this the eco-friendly version of the brand that came out fairly recently, it's called the Ri Konken, but um, also it's in a color that I like and it's mini and it's lightweight, really resistant, and it's wonderful. It fits my iPhone 10 perfectly in this slot, and on this side here, I've got my uh, vape stick, uh, which is really nice for a little bit of a break on the road, and I'll show you what I fit in today. So in the front I have, what do I have? Loose change, uh, stevia. I went to a restaurant afterwards today so that came in handy for a coffee. I have some lip balm, extra battery for my camera, my key card to get into my apartment, change purse, and that's it for the front pocket. Then in the main compartment I've got Okay, first we got a water bottle, and normally I wouldn't carry a water bottle. I'm trying to be more eco-conscious, so I have this guy here, which should have been used, but I didn't today because I forgot to bring some water with me. Just went to the convenience store and got this instead. But look, it matches. How cool is that? Uh, my camera went into this little, um, little case here, camera bag, but of course I'm using it right now to record, so there's that. Um, it was supposed to rain, so I, put, I brought an umbrella with me. This can also fit in the side pocket, but I had that filled up, so I elected to put it inside, and it didn't rain anyway. Um, then I have my Alexander McQueen scarf. Didn't really need that today either, because it was nice and warm. I got a little muffin. I didn't bring that with me. I brought it, I bought it on the way back at a cute little store that was en route. Looking forward to eating it at some point. I brought a little um, tripod for my camera, which I didn't end up using. I have my pochette with all the accoutrements I always keep within it. I have some tissues in case the bathroom was required and there wasn't any tissue in stock. Always a good idea when you're traveling anyway. 
anywhere. I have my sunglasses and sunglass case, which I switched out for my regular glasses in the trip a couple of times. Purple and green looks good together too. And I have my cards and some extra cash in my little, um, what is this called, clay from Louis Vuitton. And another little gadget bag full of earphones and uh, other stuff. I didn't really need to bring this with me today but I did and it was there. There we go, it's kind of overstuffed. And I think that's it, that's the whole bag. And you can see at the, in the inside of this bag, it's got this cute little, originally this was designed for kids. So like this, belo this bag belongs to blah, blah, blah. You can put your name and your contact information in there. Really cute. And it's got all the extra information in the back here. So that is the little Fiel Raven Konkin bag cute little pack sack and I'm so excited to have this in my collection guys. The straps are like so but what you can do if you want to wear it as a carry bag as opposed to a backpack is you just tighten them from the bottom. This is where it can go you know, longer or shorter depending on how tight you want your straps but if you don't want to use the straps at all what you do is you make them the length of the bag here and then this extra buckle at the top here you go over and in like so let me try and get this through come on get in there 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 okay so you've got it going down like that and then you take this little guy here and wrap it around and so it's not obtrusive at all to the look of the bag. It just keeps nice and neat there. You could do the same with the other side and then carry it like that from the top. Oh, my phone is here. So what's really neat about the bag here is you can see this really interesting crisscross formation on the back and this apparently has been researched to take the weight off the back and indeed, uh, walking around with it today, I hardly felt it was on. Now, of course, it's a tiny backpack and there wasn't a great deal in it, but there's still a few pounds in here or a few kilos. Um, so even though it only has these thin straps, because of the way the weight's distributed here and because of the size of the bag, um, I, it was great. And the only one thing that I didn't like about these straps is because I'm a plus size gal and I didn't find that the straps were long enough for me. So I'll put the measurements for this bag below so you can check it out for yourselves if you're interested interested in it. And here I'll show you some features. Has the little uh, Fiel Raven symbol here, little fox that ties the two top handles together and a simple Ziploc system in the front. These are KY zippers, very nice. The Ri Konken version of the bag has the um, emblem embroidered into it, which I like a lot better. I think it's more streamlined in design um, and less conspicuous, but it doesn't have that reflective property that's in the normal white and red label. So this little cutie comes in three or four versions and multiple colors and uh, a few sizes. It has a medium, large, and this is the tiny bag, which was originally for the kids. Uh, I think that brand was developed in 1978, so it's been a while around for a while. And this, of course, is the mini version in the Reconken style in the color leaf green, I believe. I love this color. It's kind of like not an army green, not a lime green, kind of somewhere in the middle, and it's very outdoorsy, really cute, goes with a lot of stuff I own without being too loud great little number. You can get different contrasting colors. You can get leather straps here as opposed to um, these nylon ones and with a leather emblem or you can get the traditional one. You go to the website, you can check it all out, I guess, but I'm loving this bag. I think it's great for little day trips and I really enjoyed it today. Yeah, I'll probably have to give you a little wear and tear update later, but it's water resistant, really tough wearing, very lightweight, and very stylish. Excellent little backpack. Don't forget to like my video guys if you did, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next round. Bag Hack signing out.